Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to take it up a notch and we're going to do a glam, glam look for Valentine's Day. If you've seen, I've already did a soft glam look. Something casual that you can wear, you know, for brunch or whatever. But tonight, we're going to take it up and this is going to be a glam, glam look. So like a date night look. So, if you are excited to see how I transform, then keep on watching. All right, y'all. So as you can see, I have not done anything. Normally, I do my brows or put my foundation on off camera. But I want to try something a little different with the order of my makeup. As you all know, um, I'm pretty much learning as I go with doing my makeup from YouTube videos or just trying it on, um, you know, myself. So, I want to try a different way of putting it on. So, let's get into it. All right. So, first things first, we're going to go with, well, no. First things first, we are going to do the eyeshadow base. I don't know why. I didn't put the mirror up over here. There we go. All right, all right, we got that going. Now, we are going to use, we're gonna use the palette Born to Be a Unicorn, and I used this palette in my Soft Glam Valentine's look, so we're gonna use this for the more sexy date night look. All right, so we are going in, <clears throat> And we are going to use oh yeah, I think I'm getting we're gonna use the center one right here. I'm gonna put it all over the lid. Perfect, right? All right, so now we are going to, I think I might use another palette too. We're going to take this color right here and we are going to put it, sorry, I thought I had to sneeze. <laughs> we are going to put it like on the outer crease. Ooh, look at that. On the outer crease. of the eye oh, that's looking good already I'll wipe all that off in a second. Um, all right, I'm going to try. <laughs> the one that I like always use out of this palette is like this deep purple shimmer color. And we're going to put that on the, um, the end as well. Kind of like layering it. To give it that deep, dark, sultry look. Ooh, ooh. Let me give y'all a close up. Mm. 
you can actually take it a step further and add glitter or lashes i thought about adding glitter but i don't think i'm gonna do that and i'm not adding lashes so i'm just gonna keep it like you know it's still nice and sultry but just giving you an option in case you want to do that so let's continue deepening the look And then I think I'm gonna take like this. Oh my god, what is it? Yeah. This, which one is it? Actually, I'm gonna do this one. This like mm, what is this? Like a golden, or not golden, like a I don't know how to explain it. Like a purplish brownish color right here. And I'm gonna put it in the center of my leg. It's kind of like a soft. Um, shimmer but without being too much in case you don't want to add glitter do like a soft shimmer from any of your eyeshadows ooh I'm loving how this is coming together All right, now that the eyes are done, we can get into the other part of oops, the face. All right, so I'm gonna do, do my brows. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows and then I'm gonna wipe the excess off camera um just so of course that you know it lays good all right mm -hmm. all right So, I'm going to go back over my brows in a second, but I got my eyes how I want them, and ooh, they are looking really nice, really like sultry, perfect. So, I'm going to do my brows, well, clean this up off camera, and put my foundation, everything else on off camera, and then I'm going to pop back on here for the final look. So, stay tuned, y'all. Oh, so we are back with the final look. Oh, yes. I absolutely love it. Matter of fact, head on over to my Instagram, which is she writes her journey underscore to see how I kind of like made a cute little get ready with me Valentine's Day edition look. But I love how it came all together. Let me give you another close up on the eyes. Okay, now let me talk about where all that I did. So, I did, of course, I did my mascara, top and bottom lash, and on the bottom waterline, I did this, like, pretty pink. It started to be just in the corner, but then I went ahead and I, like, did the whole bottom. This is in the color, it's called Metallic Hot Pink in LAL12, 
and it's super pretty well it got a little black on it but it's super pretty and perfect for you know date night um, I put my concealer on before I put on my, my foundation to kind of help set it and make everything come into place then this poppin pink lip is called cherry picking 965 I'll be sure to put everything in the description box of what I use but y'all this is like really beautiful I found this a long time ago at Dollar General y'all do not sleep on Dollar General when it comes to like makeup because they got some really pretty and affordable makeup and like I said I got this from Dollar General a long time ago and it still has like a lot oops a lot left well it's like right there because i've been using it but you know pretty sure it was like no more than probably like five dollars i don't really know offhand and i'm not sure if they even have this kind anymore this was from i want to say probably wet and wild but it's been so long that it's been worn off but i think it was from wet and wild and once again it's called cherry picking cherry picking 965 but i'll leave it in the description box okay um i also did my usual bronzer on my cheeks my nose my forehead and i think i put it on my chin as well because you want to like you know you want to be cute um uh, i did my great lash mascara and um i think that is it Oh, wait, yeah, 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 because that's right. I did this because, funny story, I ended up, before this lip look, I had did um, this and with this um, lip liner, cardamom, and then I softened it with um, neutral, but it wasn't really, like, it was cute, but it wasn't really, like, giving me that, mm, when I put this on, I was like, yes, this is giving me the sexy, sultry look that I am looking for. And I love how it just all came together. Love it. So, yes, y'all, this is the final look. And like I said, head on over to my Instagram to see how I do like a cute little get ready with me. I was going to put it on my actual uh, beauty lifestyle channel, but the... It just wasn't working out um, how I had envisioned it. And I will have like this dress and I will have like another, I was going to do like a black dress and it just wasn't working out how I had envisioned it. So I said, all right, this dress is so pretty. I'm going to let it stand alone and I'm going to do like a little cute little real video and I'm putting it on Instagram. So head on over there. I'll put my handler on the screen. She writes her journey underscore as well as in the description box. So check that out. And yes, y'all, like I love it. It's so cute. It's so flirty. It's so like, oh yes. And I put some little bangles on as well. Super cute. I got, I don't even remember, probably rainbow or I don't even remember. It's been so long. And then, oh my goodness, the star of the show, these cute, cute, cute little heart, well, not little, but medium-sized heart earrings. They are just so cute. And I love how this outfit has, like, lots of different shades of pink. Oh, this is such a grown-up, pretty in pink outfit. I love it. All right, y'all. So thank you all so much for watching. Wait a minute. Before I end it all, let me get you another close-up on the eyes because these eyes are just doing it for me. <laughs> all right. So thank you all so much for watching, for subscribing, and just being a part of the fun. Make sure you are subscribed if you aren't already. Make sure you hit the notification so you'll be notified on any time I upload. And as always, y'all, hold your head up high. Why? Because she walks in beauty. Bye, y'all.